What's up everyone, it's Adida Yadinuga David here and how are you guys holding up? I have something interesting for you today. I literally woke up to a comment from one of our subscribers, right? And what the content is all about is so powerful and I decided to make a video to his question because I'm definitely sure that this is going to be of help to some other people out there, right? So let's just jump right into it. Kinsley Opako sent a question in and this is what the question is bro good morning i'm a drummer like you but i don't have drums of my own i deeply want to be practicing and right now my church was demolished i really want to improve my drumming skills wow firstly bro i would like to say i'm so sorry to hear about the demolition of your church building and i pray that god is going to come true for you guys and you guys you guys will definitely have a new building that is better than what you guys previously have so let's go right into um the solution to your question and i'm going to share a short story of myself with you so you get to like picture um we get to like picture this together because this will definitely like resonate okay so i remember um early 2015 when i um applied into the peter king college of music in lagos nigeria right i remember then you know one of the requirements was for you to have you know a, your own personal gadget your equipment i mean you're going to music school like your tool is if you're a saxophone player, you need your sax. If you're a guitar player, you need your guitar. If you're a drummer, you need your drums. Or even though you don't have a drums, maybe a drum part. And I remember literally then, I didn't even have any of these at all. I didn't have any, any of these at all. I didn't own a drum kit at that time. I didn't even have a full drum part at that time. So it was a challenging moment of my life at that point because literally I had enough time to do a lot of things. But... I didn't have the equipment to carry out all of those assignments, the tasks, you know. We literally see that a lot of students, my colleagues, my students, like classmates, were like everywhere practicing all of those stuff. And then you are just somewhere, you can literally do a lot of things with your time because, not because you're not serious, but because resources wise, you're kind of like limited. So here's the thing because my zeal was like a thousand percent, not just hundred. A thousand percent right i had a single drum pad a single drum pad it was literally an cost an, an electric drum pad that somebody gifted me like years ahead right and that was all i had with me then i remember i would just practice you know my single strokes my double strokes my rudiments you know and um use dummy uh drummy drums like i mean the invisible drums more like you're air, air playing like more like you're doing the air drum playing thing and all so i'll just use my you know my single drum pad you know get my exercises done sometimes i will literally go um, meet my friends you know wait for them and made good friends actually i made a lot of good friends i'll just you know they will be practicing for hours i'll just wait once they are done practicing i'm like bro please can i just you know and then just use your drum kit to practice some of them definitely will give me the access and a very big shout out to one of my friends joshua josh deck josh deck was an amazing guy to me like back in college like he gave me access to his drum full access to his drums and a big shout out to mr kisley joshua too because yeah he gave me access to his drum too and a big shout out to dg dg rob scene you know you know amazing guys like they literally like gave me access to their drums so this is me saying like i literally went to school without what I needed to work with. And trust me, when I literally graduated from the Peter King College of Music, I was one of the best students that graduated from my set, right? And later on, I was even retained to lecture, you know, before I literally like transitioned into the next phase of my life, all right? So here's me saying that you can literally like work with what you have at the moment. You don't need to have all of the gadgets figured out. You don't need to have the drum sets. How about if you have a friend that has a drum set? How about if you have a friend that has access to a church whereby you can literally go together to practice? I would want you to like weigh other options around it, not necessarily uh, that you maybe like need to own yours. If you can afford it, please do. It's an investment. But if you can't afford it at the moment, I'll simply advise you to just make friends, make meaningful friends, right? So go to somebody's church together that has access to church drums, right? Go there, practice together, share ideas together. It's not the time for you to start beefing each other. It's not a time for you to start like 
saying oh who plays better who plays faster so it's time to like learn together and that way funny how if you get to like learn that way you and somebody else you're having a deeper perspective to like what the entire thing is right so i would just say that be open-minded if you have enough cash with you that you can invest right to get a gadget please just do that it's an investment and you will definitely not regret doing that okay so in my next videos yes i said next videos i'm going to be showing you some of the processes that i went through you know how i was able to land or get my studio space i was able to get my gadget i was able to save up in all of those things saving etiquette in all of those things I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of things beyond the drum kit. So make sure that you subscribe if you are new here. Make sure that you subscribe and click on the notification button. So whenever we drop any content, you get to like see it first, right? I know this has been a helpful one. And if you found this as one, well, please make sure that you like this video. You drop a comment. I would like to know what was your process too. Um, did you or did we have similar you know, experiences? I would like to know. And if there are other things you like me to talk about on this channel please feel free drop your comment you can also reach out to me on social media on instagram king underscore d groove on facebook adenuga david adedayo on tiktok king underscore d groove on twitter king underscore d groove one right so i look forward to seeing you all successful and see you at the top bye for now